Now, one of the most memorable personalities in the 2013 presidential race in Kenya was a teacher who took his campaign so lightly that he only had two campaign rallies before the election. The man, Mohamed Abduba Dida, has re-emerged and he accuses President Uhuru Kenyatta of being too happy and out of touch with the suffering of Kenyans. Before 2013, Mohamed Abduba Dida, a former high school teacher, was not well known to Kenyans until this day when he presented his nomination papers to contest for presidency. After the election, he went underground politically. Now he says he took time to engage himself in thinking and reading and preparing 15 lectures investigating why it is difficult for mankind to do the right thing, an observation he noted in the two campaign meetings he held in the run-up to the elections. I went to Mombasa. I got some 8,000 votes. And I just visited the place for one night. I gave two lectures. It gave me 8,000 votes. I visited Wazir. I gave one lecture. I got 8,000 votes. And I came back to my house. Malimu, as he is popularly known, is a stickler to rules as depicted by this notice pinned in his Alliance for Real Change Party headquarters and the Ten Commandments. He has confirmed he is still on a mission to lead Kenya. I'm telling them now, I did it in 2013, it didn't happen, and I will try it in 2017. Just like other tough Jubilee critics, Dida claims Kenyans must make an informed decision during next year's general election if the country's leadership is to be rescued. But in the history of Kenya after independence, the worst president in terms of handling corruption that Kenya will ever and has recorded is Uhuru Kenyatta. Because he was himself the first one man. Asked about his controversial double appointment by both President Uhuru Kenyatta and then devolution CS Anwai Guru as chairman of the CDF in early 2014, he claims It was sort of a backdoor appointment where according to my thinking, you take it and then you are thrown into the box of it is not legal, it is illegal. President Uhuru Kenyatta was to surprisingly revoke his nomination as debate raged over the manner in which the appointment had been done. I'm not the type of people who will seek for favors. Rush to this office, jiskume mwenyewe, I am not the type. Dida has ruled out any possibility of forming a coalition, even as a section of Kenyans think he should consider seeking another political seat, but not the presidency. I don't believe in that school of thought. If I, if I was to agree with anybody, I will not have gone an extra mile registering a political party. As for now, we should start with the lower seat. We understand yeah, the lower seat. For Dinda, I think he had some good policies, but uh, I don't think his time is ripe. Eh? Current President Uhuru Kenyatta was wise enough because he tried once, then. Uh, the following uh, election he never did and the last one, the one that he went for, he made it because he did his calculations well. During the 2013 presidential debate, he emerged as the most hilarious candidate, but it seems that is his nature. We are just surviving because Kenyans are potentially people who love God. Practically they may not be God-loving, but they have the potential. Theoretically they can sing God. Because of that, maybe God is keeping us. So many Kenyans died in, in Somalia. And uh, it just went like that. NYS thing came, whoa, 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 it is gone. Who killed people in Westgate? What, what, it disappeared. Who killed people in... Things come, nothing is done. And you just see the president so happy in gatherings. Yeah? The laughing gas in chemistry. The guy is always happy. I don't, I don't know. 
For now, he continues with a membership recruitment drive in all counties as he prepares for his second stab at the presidency. Duncan Hemba, KTN News.